Hello people, this is Mark from Colors Change Works. Guys, just a quick other little video with some language regarding the uh, NARC series. So uh, I'm hoping that this will be about uh, maybe one more to go. And then I'm going to talk about the tri-factor, the tri-prong uh, attack, the three-prong attack on how NARCs work. At least that's how I was attacked. But that's going to come in a bit. Let's get back to this video. Um, baiting. Baiting is just like uh, when you go fishing. You put some bait on a hook. hook you tuck it in. You wait for the fish. You yank it. You've got it. Baiting in the narc world works exactly the same. Except that the, the baiting is this act or the, the behavior that uh, provokes emotion. And that's the thing. It provokes the emotion and different reactions in order for the victim, the 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 hunted, to comply to the narcissist whims and plans and schemes and all this kind of stuff in order to remain dominant and superior because of, as I've said in one of the other videos, a narcissist, he was this uh, chap who just was utterly in love with himself. And baiting works exactly the same. It is about basically bullying you through acts and behavior to comply and bow down to the superiority of the narc. It's a nasty thing. Baiting takes place virtually all day, every day, because they've got a plan how they're going to do it. Okay? Baiting. I got a lot of this, and it's um, future faking. And as it says on the tin, it is about um, faking the future. It's about um, making statements and threats to um, say what they're going to do, but they never do it. So it's about bullying you again emotionally to try and say to you, um, if you don't do this, I'm going to do the other. And then they never do it. And it's all about eroding you emotionally and psychologically to try and bait you to comply. So future faking. So when people make these hollow threats, chances are that is what it is, future faking. Grooming, just like um, you groom yourself, you make yourself look nice and good and you feel good about yourself. Uh, grooming in the NARC world works very similar. They try and groom you by a false facade to trust them, to like them, to become friendly, pally with them, all this kind of stuff in order to for you to become ensnared in their little trap. And then once they've got you through grooming, then they continually hammer you with other tactics as described in the other videos and maybe one or two in the ones to come but be careful with the gro uh, the knock when they start grooming you because it is incredibly successful and uh, manipulative but once you identify it you can do something about it so be careful and it's about chipping away as a friend of mine says it is death by a million cuts and grooming is exactly that how they start to manipulate situations to try and lure you in okay idealization is where you kind of support the knock they will do little things right uh, for the world to see um, just so they can maintain loyalty and get their supply and then not long after, they go off and do their own thing. So it's all about um, them, them becoming the hero. And you are proud of them. I can remember when uh, the knock that I was involved in, when she used to do certain things that was really, really good, like go and seek support. It was well done. So you should do. They can help you. You need to just be honest with them. Hero them up. And then before you know it, bombs just hit you. And it's idealization. Marginalization is another tactic that they use. And as it says, they marginalize you. They kind of push you to one side. It's a very, very clever tactic. And it's all about isolation. It's about 
you're part of the group, but you don't matter. What you say matters not. It is uh, all about making you feel and seem inferior to them because they're in control. They're the tough one. They, they're the all-wise, almighty one in every relationship because they've got to dominate and control and be in charge. So even though you are un under false pretenses, you're part of the group, but in reality, you're not. Uh, moving the goalposts is exactly that. It is, you, you've seen it in business and, and, and that kind of stuff where you get told to achieve X, Y, Z and you do and then they say, oh, no, 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 it's no longer X, Y, Z, it's now X, B, X, Y, Z plus A and B. And you think, oh, man, I've, I've just I've worked really hard to get that. And then they move the goalposts. So you achieve that, oh, good effort, but what about that? And you run around aimlessly trying to please because you're in love with them. You like them. They're your friend. They're your husband. They're your wife. They're your daughter. They're your son, whatever. Your mom and dad. And um, it's a never-ending story. It's like trying to find a corner in a circle. It can't be done. Uh, stonewalling. It is... Um, I talk about this in another video, actually, uh, about the... the where you deliberately uh, choose to dis not to, to disclose some information, mm -hmm. okay? So stonewalling is simply that. It is um, give 8 out of 10 or 12 or 15 facts, but the ones that you really, really need to hear, they don't give that. And believe me, I was subject to that hundreds of times. Where you think to yourself, man, you know, in, in the videos that I talk about this, I talk about lies of omission and lies of commission. And uh, the lies of mm -hmm. omission is what we are on about here. They choose to not give you the information that is necessary, okay? Triangulation is where the narc goes out and finds someone to support them, a friend or a a professional or something like that and how they kind of hear them up in order to now target you it's very clever bullying technique and a nasty tactic that, that they will use so uh, when you find yourself not dealing with one person but two you've been triangulated I do talk about it in another video as well so be aware of that and the final one that I want to talk about here is something called a word salad. Now, if you imagine a mixed salad, you've got your tomatoes, your lettuce, and you've got uh, maybe onions and cheese, or, you know, whatever the case might be, peppers. You put them all together and you make a nice little salad. And what the NARC will do there is they will use the exact same concept, um, especially when they feel threatened or they feel like they're going to be exposed of some sort. So when you say, oh, by the way, Nark, I've noticed that you've done this, 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 and then they'll just speak gobbledygook. They will bring different ideas. They will bring all sorts of nonsense, kind of, um, what's the word I've used here? Nonsensical and erratic terminology into it. And it's like, what does that even mean? And they try and bully you with nonsense chatter. And as soon as you find out that you, you, you've you exposed a knock and you, you kind of pinpoint what they've done wrong and you just get this load of utter ibridge, gibberish and gibberish as I used to call it once upon a time. You're in a word salad and now you've got to fight your way out of that. Good luck. So... Uh, there you go, my friends. There's a few more words. I will be using these in the future. And uh, I thought it was really interesting for... Well, I thought it was interesting to bring them out to your awareness so that when we do speak about these kind of things and when I talk about a word salad, you know what I'm on about. If I talk about a flying monkey or a golden child or a lost child or all this kind of stuff, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So a little bit of education, but for now... This is it. 
I'm going to ask you just to do the uh, YouTube admin stuff, you know, the share and subscribe to all your friends to do exactly the same. Let's get this particular video out there. Because the knock is, in my eyes, is being exposed. I've said that in another video. And uh, a lot of people are now finding out how trapped they are in these toxic relationships. And, and it is destroying thousands and thousands and thousands of people's of lives because... They've been groomed, they've been baited, they've been ensnared. Nasty thing. So that is it. This is Mark from Coast Chainsworks, and I'll speak to you soon.